Hey YouTube, it's Tamisha. I could pull this down, but um, I decided to keep it up. It's kind of keeping me warm. So, oh, look, whatever. <laughs> um, so I am five weeks in one day today. Um, I woke up and I was feeling like, I guess I would say like real constant pressure. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just because I had to pee, but I'm always feeling like pressure. So I guess that's the little one, um, burrowing into mommy's uterus. Um, so mommy's womb, they like to call it, right? Um, so I'm like, okay, you gotta do what you gotta do. Get in there, right? <laughs> um, so things that happened this morning, I would say that I literally was having horrible. My boobs hurt. Like, they hurt so bad. Maybe this baby will actually like my boobies because it was my first, my first Leilani. That baby, my daughter did not like my boobs. Like, I remember I tried to stick it in her mouth at like a week or something. And like, cause you know, I'm like trying to be like how those breastfeeding mommies can just like still sleep with a boobie in like, you know, their kid's mouth. So I'm like, oh man, I gotta get up or whatever to make a bottle. So I'm like, oh, let me try. So she latched on, everything was great. I'm not even sure if you guys are gonna be able to hear everything I'm saying. So we'll find out <laughs> later. Um, so she latched on, everything was going great for like two, probably like, I would say five seconds tops. And all of a sudden she literally lets go and looks at me like, you got five minutes before I snap out to go make me a real bottle and don't put that freaking boob in my mouth again. So, I mean, I did try, I did try. She just wasn't feeling it. With my first, you know, she's seven, so maybe like, you know, my boobs got bigger by now. Who knows? <laughs> I had her uh, at 21, and then when I turned 22 is when, um, like, I turned 22, like, I guess like a month later or so. Maybe my boobs got bigger since then. Who knows? I don't know, but they are like on fire. Um, this morning, I did wake up a little warm, but I didn't wake up like how I, I, I've been waking up since I thought I was pregnant. And before I thought I was pregnant, I was keep having like these hot flashes in the nighttime, which is like horrible. They are horrible, horrible, horrible. It's like I'm waking up in night sweat. So um, I'm basically waking up and it literally feels like I've been in a sauna, but I go to sleep extremely cold. And then I'll wake up in the middle of the night, probably like around three or three or four. And I have to take everything off of me. So I woke, I went to bed, I'll go to bed like cold and then wake up and I'm frigging freezing my ass off. Like, like, I don't know what is going on or did I just mix it up? So I'll go to bed, I'm freezing. And then I have everything on. I'll have my like extra heater on. And then I'll have my, uh, robe my fluffy robe and now i have like the blankets and as soon as i get like literally to three four o'clock that's when i'm like hot and i'm like taking everything off and then i'll put on um i'll take everything off and then by the time i get undressed and whatever and i'm up that's when i get cold again but tonight i noticed that i woke up this morning like it was weird i wasn't like in a whole entire night sweat i was still you know like uh i'm okay but i wasn't in like a full-blown night sweat so i was kind of excited about that i'm like maybe that was just the, like i mean i'm still early pregnancy but maybe that was like the four weeks type of thing <laughs> like the um because it started like from when i was like three weeks and some days where the night sweats had started so i'm just like maybe that's what that is and i don't know but yeah um woke up my boobs were killing me so i had to turn a certain direction in my bed um 
because me laying on my side was still hurting like the, the I think I was laying on my my right side that was hurting my right boob and then like the left boob was like going to the side too I'm like am I not to sleep in bras I don't like being uncomfortable um I did order a pregnancy pillow so that should be coming sometime uh in the coming week so that's fun because I legit cannot cannot I can't I can't I can't not get any sleep like I need it and I think for me not getting any sleep it's been making it really really tough for me meaning like uh, it's I think it's tough for me in the way of okay I gotta get up and go to work and you know before I got pregnant I was getting up and taking my walks at four o'clock in the morning but now I'm just too exhausted to do any of that. So yeah, because I'm usually waking up and I'm in a night sweat. And I want to get some more sleep. And it's, I don't know, it's, my schedule's all mixed up in my mind and whatever. And I think I have like baby brain or something. I don't know where you know. Cause even like my classes, I can't get together for like um, writing my papers and stuff. So I've been having that issue. Um, I see my trolley coming. I'm on my way to get a money order. Yeah. So, it's literally a stop down, but I really, I'm, I'm not interested in walking all the way down there to the post office. I'm not, I'm not interested in doing that. So I'm gonna take this trolley that's coming. <laughs> I'm gonna take the trolley that's coming and um, I will get back with you guys in a little bit when I get back in, cause I actually have to do a Zoom uh, with, uh, for my child's uh, school district or something like that. So I will be back later, okay? All right. So, okay, hey, I'm back from my little trip to the post office. Um, but yeah, so we have to go there for a money order. Never got a money order from there. Before I did actually didn't even know you could get money orders from a post office, but apparently you can. So woohoo! If you didn't know, you can do that. Um, it's crazy. I didn't want to walk to the post office because, I didn't, like, in my head, I did never walked it before. But I walked back home because I was like staring at like, you know, um, a certain area that like was like right next to my um apartment complex. So I was like, oh, that's actually pretty close to my place so i could see it when i walked right out of the post office so i just walked back which took like i don't even know how many minutes probably like five minutes and um the trolley going back to the next stop didn't even come within the time frame of me walking i've just been really nervous because it's icy over here where i'm at and i'm like i don't want to fall or anything like that so i decided to you know take the trolley there um but definitely walked back and paid close attention to my legs i was like hey don't fail me now um but now i'm back in my bed um so yes yeah, so again i am five weeks in one day yesterday i did have a um a uh a telemed my telemed was um for um my endocrinologist because I don't have a thyroid so there's that too so I am um, hypothyroid because they took my thyroid out um so she was just checking like all my like you know levels that I've gotten checked um they follow me really closely because um me not having a thyroid it can also cause stillborn then it can cause miscarriages so they're making sure that I'm on the proper medications and that my labs are always being checked so I have those um type things um also i'm on level thyroxin uh, me taking level thyroxin she has told me now that i need to take it separately from the prenatal vitamins and then i'm also on these because of my um gastric bypass so this is calcium citrate with uh d3 in it and then there's the prenatal vitamins that have um all types of different vitamins inside of it but it also has the vitamin d um, in it, D3 in it as well. Um, so she did tell me that I should talk to my gastric bypass doctor about if I should just be taking 
one or the other. So I think I'll text him possibly like Monday or whatever. I'm not going to bother him this weekend because, you know, he bougie. So I don't think I'm going to bother him for it if it's like not like super serious. Um, so I have not taken any meds yet. I am about to do that. I'm going to take my level thyroxin and then I'll take my um, prenatals probably like with some food or something a little bit later. Um, probably when, um, after my Zoom that I have for my daughter. But yeah, um, basically had that appointment. I read her like all the labs because um, I was in the ICU in October because I have hypoglycemia. So it's also something that can be even worse um, when you, you know, have gastric bypass. Now, for my hypoglycemia, um, I do have my um, meter. I don't know if it's going to turn on. It's probably not. It usually only turns on. Oh, there it is. And you can see right there. It would be like the testing. Usually when I put the um, one of these in there, the AccuCheck, that's when um, it'll turn on by itself. And I do one of these. Prick myself. So you guys know you prick yourself and um after you do that then you want to um wipe off the first blood and then uh squeeze your finger again and then um that's the blood that you usually take um to take your your, your glucose um so i've been checking it i kind of know one of my glucose is kind of low though i'll kind of like my fingers get really cold that's like the first thing on me that's really really cold but yeah it was pretty bad in October so I made sure to let her know because I hadn't seen her in forever and she's like so you haven't been seeing any um endocrinologist and I'm like I mean you know like in the hospital like admit it they'll come by and be like what's up and like you know uh so basically it's stuff like that so she wants me to get labs next week as well um Following the pregnancy, I've gone from, let's see, I've had, what was it? My first things were taking around three weeks and some days. Uh, my HCG levels, it went from 53. Then the next week after that, so it was like what, the 8th, I had them done and they were at 53. And then I had them done again on the 12th and they were like, uh, 413 and then at the hospital because I was actually Monday sick uh and I was having like cramping and stuff so they checked my HCG then and I was at my HCG was at 3192 so they were climbing up as they were supposed to they also found the sub chorionic um hemorrhage near well they said adjacent to um the baby um but they said that um it should go away sometime it happens uh my cervix is closed and that um just i need to be monitored um so i was going to not see the doctor until the 29th of march which seems far away for me being that i'm supposed to be you know listed as high risk but it's because like with covid they would do eight weeks but they started to do 10 but they decided that they would have me come in um earlier so i think I'll be eight weeks. <sighs> On the 12th. Sorry, guys. So I think I'm around that time period. I think I'll be eight weeks around then. So they told me I can, I'll come in around then. So you guys are definitely going to have that update as well. Um, as for my gastric bypass doctor, he's just like making sure that what they want to make sure is like you know you're not gaining back the weight but they said they will you know help you with those things but for me i'm not like i haven't been you know gaining any like significant weight it's kind of like you know the bloated constipation type of weight like if i was actually like really taking my dunks like i need to take my dunks tmi um then i would have been fine um 
so yeah so this video is getting like super long don't want to like have you guys sitting here completely bored and like what in the world's going on why is it still uploading why is it taking forever why is she talking so much but um yeah i just wanted to give you guys those updates this is five weeks in one day so um anything happens i will definitely keep you guys updated as much as possible and anything changes if symptoms change i will say i am burping like a mad person i'm very gassy meaning like it's like coming out this way um because i cannot gas that way which is very irritating i'm constipated and cannot get gas the right way but um when i spoke to my neurologist she did let me know that me taking my um docusate sodium capsule so a docalax okay vivica um it was okay so i started taking those again um because i need to poop and that's just it i didn't realize how much i need to poop to the point that because i have not been pooping um it went from me having diarrhea to not being able to poop at all so that's another tmi on there but if you guys have any questions again you can reach out to me you can write me comment subscribe um and i will keep it going as i can <laughs> and i will try to uh yeah so thank you for watching again subscribe 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 some of the things that i spoke about i will definitely leave them to the description and um the meds that i have i'll leave them to the description um and yes this is i need glam um here at you with the update of what is this five weeks one day and um pregnant with post-op of gastric bypass post-op ventricular uh peritoneal shunt and um so hypothyroidism and i also have a uh, pseudo tumor 35 so yes if you are in these categories and you have all these things going on with you definitely definitely try to communicate with me and we can talk if you need support i am definitely here um yeah so thank you till next time all right